Welcome to another edition of Lean Bites, a bite-sized demonstration of a lean topic. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Paul Dean, and in today's edition of Lean Bites, we're gonna look at this tool called a pick chart. Now, a pick chart is simply a four quadrant diagram, possible, implement, challenge, and kill off in an effort and impact matrix. The amount of effort or the work required or the capital required to implement the idea, as opposed to the impact, the amount of benefit that it's gonna bring. A very simple but powerful tool that can be used in a whole lot of different applications. For example, in brainstorming, when you've generated a whole lot of ideas, a pick chart will help you to prioritize those ideas to arrive at the best outcome. It can be used in problem solving, it can be used in project work. In fact, it can be used in a whole lot of different applications. But just be aware, it is a subjective tool that can be prone to influence and bias through individuals. If you want a more objective tool, try a solution selection matrix. But a very simple tool to start with, and I encourage you to try it. So let's get into the demonstration today. So step number one is set the scene with the team who's done the brainstorming. The purpose of the exercise is to identify the best ideas from the group of generated ideas. The second step is to draw on a whiteboard or flip chart the four quadrant diagram based on pick. Pick is possible, implement, challenge or kill off and it's a effort impact matrix. So the higher the effort on one side and across is the more the impact or the benefit. So step number three is discuss and analyze each of the ideas before you put them onto the chart. Now when you place them on the chart, you put them according to the impact, that's the potential benefit to the outcome, and also the effort required, how much work, how much capital is required to implement that idea. Just a couple of tips. Make sure that the team fully understands the idea so we can post it in the right category. And the second tip is when you've got a lot of ideas, try grouping them together when they're the same so that you can post fewer ideas onto the board. Step number four, is once you've got the ideas posted onto the chart, is focus on the possible and the implement quadrant. They're the ones that you're gonna tackle first. And just a hint, if you've got multiple ideas in the same quadrant, try voting on those ideas as a team to then make a further prioritization within that quadrant. So step number five is where you take those ideas prioritized in the P and the I quadrants and put them onto a tracker like this one. This is where you'll have the idea and an action developed, owned and a due date to follow it through. Now you might find per each idea you might have multiple actions. Whether it's an Excel sheet or whether it's a board tracker, the idea is having the idea, having the actions and following them all the way through to a solution. So just recapping, a pick chart is a very simple but powerful tool where you can take a series of brainstormed ideas and place them into a four quadrant effort impact chart to arrive at the best prioritized ideas, create actions and follow them through to a solution. I hope this has been very helpful and thank you for joining me on this edition of Lean Bites.